Hi, this is Jim Bowen, and this is the first day lecture for CEGR 2154 Design Project Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick tour of the Canvas site, then go through the highlights of the syllabus, then show you the calendar with upcoming assignment, and then ask and answer the question, when do you attend lecture? This is the Canvas site. It opens to the syllabus. At the top of the syllabus are instructors, me, I'm doing the lecture, and Bill Langley is doing the lab. We have two TAs. One is listed here. We're adding a second TA. There's a hello and course introduction video from me, then the course introduction, description of the hybrid teaching mode, the lectures that will happen on Mondays and Wednesdays, more on that later, course goals, recognizing that this is an O course. There is no required text. The additional course materials are on the Canvas page. There's information here about the grading. Grading is we have homework assignments, of which there will be approximately four. Those are 10% of the grade. There are two reflection memos on the oral presentations and two peer reviews for the two projects that we're doing. Collectively, that's 10%. Then there are five non-project oral presentations. Those happen throughout the semester starting next month. Those five are each worth 5% or 25% total. There's a midterm that's worth 20%, two group projects that collectively are worth 15%, and the final exam is 20%. That adds up to 100%. It's the standard 90, 80, 70 grading scale. I do occasionally round up, but only if you've received the higher grade on the final. There's some information here about how we handle grading mistakes. It tells you, too, that we're keeping the grades in the Canvas gradebook, which is not always completely up to date. And then there's information on what our expectations are of you. Basically, that you attend all or mostly all the time, that you arrive on time, and that you treat all others in the class with courtesy and respect. There are similar expectations that we believe you have of the instructor and the TAs. You can read those here. This information on classroom conduct really has to do with the lectures once we're in person. For now, there are additional technology requirements because we're in hybrid mode and have some part of the semester online only. Then there's additional information on student conduct, COVID-19 policies, university policies related to a hybrid course, and then academic integrity issues, Title IX issues, disability issues. And then at the bottom, you'll find a link to the class schedule. I'm going to open the class schedule here. This gives you week by week what we're doing in lecture and what we're doing in lab. I'll also show you that the assignments are here, the four homeworks, the five non-project presentations, the due dates are shown, the first project we're doing, the Balsa Wood Bridge Contest, that I'll have both a poster and a presentation, the test and the final, the the second project on greenhouse gas emissions, the two reflective memos, and the peer evaluation. Other things you'll find here, there's a lot of the course material is in these modules, so check these out. I'm collapsing them all so you can see the list of modules. Week one, we're starting with civil and environmental engineering job certification and curriculum. Then six weeks on the Balsa Wood Bridge Contest, the remaining weeks on the sustainability and greenhouse gas emissions part of the course. That's all I think I need to show you on the Canvas page. Well, I've done both a quick tour of the Canvas site and the highlights of the course syllabus. So let's go back to that and look at the calendar. You saw that the, there were dates assigned to the assignments. You can also get a day-by-day -day calendar of assignments. And what you'll see is there's nothing at this point that's due in September. That reflects the fact that we're not able to go in person until at least October 1st. The plan now reflects our belief that we will go back to in-person October 1st. If you look into October, let's look at the calendar, and I'm going to do that by going to the course summary that you'll find at the bottom of the syllabus. This is a chronological listing of all things that are assigned and have due date. The first one coming up is the presentation, the first full week that we're back doing in-person classes. And then you'll see through October, there is presentation one, presentation two, and two homeworks. And then at the end of October is the bridge analysis. You can see from this that there is nothing on the calendar for September. Then the final topic is when do you attend lecture? 
Let's talk about that. There are two lectures per week, a Monday lecture and a Wednesday lecture, but the Monday lecture and Wednesday lecture will be the same. The reason for that is if you look for this two credit class, we're supposed to meet one hour per week for lecture. There are two time slots available for us to meet. We're going to give the same lecture twice each week. So if you have the Monday lab, you should come to the Monday lecture. If you have the Wednesday lab, you should come to the Wednesday lecture. Those lectures, once we're back to in-person, will take place in G287. The COVID capacity for that room is 40 students. There is not room for the entire class, meaning we'll need to split you, and that's why we're splitting you into a Monday lecture and a Wednesday lecture. That's all I have for this first day. Thanks for listening.